Alright friends, real quick today what we're going to do is show you how to set up a digital delivery system using PayPal and Excite Pro. In order to get this up and running right, obviously you're going to have to have developed a page in Excite Pro. For this example, we'll just use this quick demo page I did up for this video. Um, here's a product that I created that did, that did not do so well. Uh, it was a video that taught people how to um, get their feedback restored if people were leaving them negative feedback on eBay. So it was a video I created. So um, what you're going to need to do first obviously is create your page and you're going to have to have a buy it now button. Now the buy it now button is not active because it's not connected to PayPal yet but it's going to need to be uploaded before you go tinkering around in PayPal. So create your page and then click your upload publish button. I'm assuming you already know how to do that because you would have gone through the Excite Pro tutorials and once you do you're going to go visit your own web page because you're going to need some links before logging into PayPal. So here's the, what the pay web page looks like. Check out this cool video on how to restore your eBay feedback to 100%. I obviously made it a little bit too wide. A uh, picture of the video. Hey, check it out. Buy it now. Only $9.99 and here's the Buy It Now button. Now you can see that we cannot click the Buy It Now button because it's not active yet, but we need the link. So this has to be uploaded to the internet. We can see that it is and we need the absolute URL for this button so we can incorporate it into PayPal. So right click on whatever button you uploaded and then say look for properties and here is the URL for this actual picture. So you're going to want to copy that and then I just keep these little details on a notepad here. So here's the button URL, you're going to need to know that paste it in here for future reference and also you're going to need your download page URL which is where you're going to send the people after they complete their purchase. You need those two things before you log into PayPal. So now that we have those two things we will go ahead and log into PayPal. Okay so I paused the video there while we logged into the PayPal account. Once you're inside your PayPal account I'm just going to assume that you have a business account because it doesn't make sense not to have a business account. Mine's a business account and I'm assuming that yours is as well and this is what it looks like in mine. But what you're going to be looking to do is you're going to set up a buy now button and it's going to bring you to this page right here and it says create buy now button. So you're going to want to give your item name and service a um, a name so we'll call this one extreme feedback makeover and we'll say it was $9.99 and if you want a tracking number to it we could call it extreme feedback $9.99 and obviously you're going to put the price in there of whatever you have on your web page $9.99 you can choose some standard buttons here if you want to but we're going to use that button that we had incorporated into our web page so that's why you had to upload it at first because you're going to use your own button image and so here we can go ahead and switch over and get that absolute link for our button image we'll copy it and paste it in here button encryption generally you're going to want to say yes there's at times when you want to say no but for this for this example we'll just go ahead and say yes leave the rest of these things generally blank if you're using a digital delivery product but you're going to want to say add more options don't click create button now because you need to add some more options button number two this is some custom style stuff which you don't really care about at the top but this one right here, customize your buyer's experience. You want the successful payment URL to be whatever payment page you want to, or wherever your download page is. So for us, that's this right here. We'll copy that. And we'll paste it in here. And then cancel payment URL. So if they cancel out halfway through their transaction, where do you want them to go? Um, you'll probably want them to go back to your home page so my home page would be right here remove negative feedback.com and right here I would say no shipping is needed because it's a digital delivery product and here is the PayPal address that I want it sent to and we say create button now and 
here is your code for this particular button right here. So we can select it all and say copy. And then we need to switch back into Excite Pro and incorporate it into our actual button on our web page. So we'll go back to Excite Pro and we can see here's our Buy It Now button. And you're going to need to switch over to your source view and hunt that down. So you can see down here, here is the actual picture right here. Image title. And we'll isolate that real quick. I need to find my end image tag. Actually, this is the one we want right here, the one at the end. So we'll isolate the image tag and we'll just paste that big bunch of code right over it. Switch back over and it should show up just fine. Now there's something weird about this. It never is centered properly. So once you switch back over to your design view, go ahead and say move it over to the left, then say center, and now it'll be centered. It doesn't naturally fall in the center of the page. Resave your page. and then all we need to do is republish it and everything should be good to go we may have ended up adding some spaces in here but I don't think we did and then we go ahead and republish the file we say OK we switch back over to no, not that view right here so if we switch back over here and we hit refresh we see our page looks pretty much the same but now the buy it now button is active if we click the buy it now button it will take you to your PayPal page. Check that out. Extreme Feedback Makeover Video 999. That was the title that you entered in there. Obviously, the price is 999. The tracking code's built in here. They can pay through Visa, MasterCard, or they can just log into their PayPal account, pay through PayPal. And here is the tricky part. Once they pay, they are going to get a screen that looks like this. And their information will all be up here and this is the problem with the, with the PayPal delivery system. They give you two buttons. One button down here says continue. That's a very bad button to push. If, if they push that button, it takes them back to their PayPal account, which, and then there's nothing there for them. The download link is not given to them on their PayPal account. Then if they hit the back button on their browser, they get a 404 now found error. They have to push this button here in order to get routed to whatever the download page was that you set up. If they fail to do that, they can't get their link. And then they're going to be emailing you. And if you don't email them back with their link pretty quickly, usually within a few hours, they're going to start filing a dispute because they think you're just ripping them off. Which you're not. It's just that they're pushing the wrong button. And it would be pretty obvious to see how they would make that mistake. So they need to click this button here. And that is the one shortfall of the PayPal delivery system don't even need to bother asking me if PayPal emails them the link in their confirmation of payment they don't otherwise that would I mean it would make sense that they do but they don't so if your buyer does not push this button they're not going to get access to their whatever they bought at all and that is a little bit of a problem but if you know how to do basically give good customer service and work around it you can work around it and that is all you need to do to set up a PayPal digital download product delivery system pretty fast, pretty easy, pretty simple, and uh, doesn't cost you anything more than your free PayPal account and the uh, per transaction fees.